A fifth day of looting and riots grip Alexandra Township in the north of Johannesburg. Police struggle to keep people away, but those temporarily deterred by rubber-coated bullets and tear gas return within minutes. Hours later, soldiers are deployed. They apprehend a group of men they suspect of shooting at them, searching for guns and other weapons. With the army on the street, these business owners say they feel safe to return to see what they've lost. They find their stores gutted by looting and fires. This time, I can't believe it. I'm 40 years in this country, but I can't believe it is happened like but that. In other parts of the Gauteng province, there's also been extensive looting. Stores at this mall in Dipcliffe in Soweto have been entirely ransacked. There's nothing left. And now soldiers and police have been deployed to places just like this to try and protect whatever little is left and also keep looters away. But preventing the looting in many areas in Johannesburg has proven difficult and appears to be impossible to stop. Here, grocery stores, a butcher's shop, banks and ATMs are completely destroyed. Security guards say they tried to keep looters away as they waited for the police, but it was too late. Smut Shabe worked at this food outlet. Now I'm angry because where, what am I supposed to do from now? Where am I going to get paid? Where is my salary going to come from? Because this is my livelihood. How am I going to support my family because of this? And, and the criminals that have been rampaging these places and the police were nowhere to be seen. With riots and the disruption of services in the Gauteng and KwaZulu-Natal provinces, there are concerns people will run out of food. There are many unhappy with the destruction. I don't know where am I going to buy food. I don't know. As you can see, that it's bad. And as the situation, people are not working. But this is not the solution. The protests that began after the jailing of former President Jacob Zuma have now escalated to riots linked to increasing poverty and inequality. South Africa has been under varying stages of COVID-19 lockdown for more than a year. Worsening unemployment, already at 32%, has fueled anger and resentment at a government that is struggling to cope. Famida Miller, Al Jazeera, Johannesburg.